Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I want to. Uh, I like to use the word benchmark. Uh, so, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Kelly, the the part of the evolution of being trainable, really possibly the this may, may somebody could say whatever the first step is. There's different first steps to a lot of things, but a major distinction that's required when in the world of being a fully functioning, self-determining person, raising a fully functioning, self-determining you know, child, uh, raising a fully, training a fully functioning, self-determining adult, being a fully functioning, self-determining company, team. You know, it could be said in the military, you have teams that are fully functioning and they're self-determining towards that mission. And you could take, you know, thousands of people and everybody's on the same path, right? That is a skill set. That is priceless. Uh, it's if you could take that skill set of a thousand people on that same mission towards that same goal and put them in a, a business environment, fill in whatever the business is, that's going to be a successful company because everybody's on the same path, right? So, so to but to get there, uh, what we assert is first, like step one is you have to be fully functioning. And somebody says, "What is fully functioning?" There you go. Yeah. So, so what I, what I, how I like to share with certain people, because I like to give them space is that uh, um, I could pretty much, I like to believe that I could determine if someone's fully functioning or not in a particular area, straight up in a minute, <laughs> in a minute, how can you do it in a minute? <laughs> Maybe even 30 seconds if I want to be, you know, confident about it. <laughs> well, how do you do it in 30 seconds? Well, if I just ask you, uh, uh, hey, what do you think about Trump? <laughs> hey, what do you think about Hillary? Hey, what do you think about Obama? Hey, what do you think about sex? Hey, what do you think about money? Hey, what do you think about religion? Hey, what do you think about the Yankees? <laughs> hey, what do you think about the Dodgers? <laughs> uh, and people just, ah, right? So, so, uh, and, and, and it translates, say, hey, let's talk about your sales results. Hey, let's talk about your workout today. Hey, let's talk about your diet. Hey, let's talk about our relationship. Hey, let's talk about fill in the blank. A, 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 a person who's functional can actually have those conversations. And the way we structure it is to, uh, to be func fully functional, the ability to have a conversation with anyone, anywhere, anytime, anyhow, about anything, and actually stay in the conversation without throwing the tantrum, getting upset, getting angry, doing the silent treatment, gossiping, ignoring, pretending that you're listening and you're in your head, all the sorts of things that we do to stay and get ourselves out of the conversation versus stay in the conversation. So, uh, and by the way, I, my children are my number one evidence, aside from, again, 30 years of training and development, that having that foundation works because I could have conversations with my daughters now at 15, going on 16, and 17, going on 18, that people can't even have in boardrooms, <laughs> like literally conversations about anything, and they stay in the conversation, and they up their game in the conversation. And what's really beautiful for me is they hold me to account. Like, they'll come up to me and say, hey, Dad, it's just a conversation. I want to talk about, you know, my boyfriend. <laughs> I want to talk about sex. I want to talk about, you know, smoking weed or whatever things get in, kids get influenced on uh, 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 in that world. So the ability to have any conversation is the foundation for, I assert, anything. 